Welcome to Kellyanne Cares, a one of a kind show created to motivate, stimulate, educate, and inspire you personally and professionally. Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm an entrepreneur, patient advocate, content creator, and author. You may know me from the Everything is Messy book, brand, and podcast, but what you may not know is how hard I had to work to get me to where I am today mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. And in this season, I'm more driven and extremely passionate about my purpose to help you save the time, money, and energy it takes to be happier and get healthier with your mind, body, business, and life. Tune in every week to hear raw, unfiltered conversations from myself and my incredible guests as we discuss trending topics, share stories of resilience, and chat about all things health, wealth, healing, and wellness. Whether you're here to listen, learn, or laugh, I promise to bring awareness and add more value to your day. Take this time to relax and recharge. Listen, life is short. Invest in yourself. Be loud. Be different. Be you. And most importantly, enjoy the ride. Buckle up because today's podcast experience starts now. One more thing. Sharing is caring. I would love your thoughts on today's episode. Head on over to Apple Podcasts to rate, review, and subscribe. I would truly appreciate it. Want to continue the conversation? Let's connect online. You can find me at kellyangorman.com and all my social links are in the show notes. Now let's get into today's show. Hello, hello, and welcome back to a brand new episode. You guys, I haven't been able to record a solo show in so long. I think it was when I did my rebrand, which was February 28th, I believe. And if you could tell by my voice, it's a little hoarse and... It's so crazy because as I titled this episode, the importance of patience and learning how to trust the process of literally everything in life. That is what I'm trying to do right now because I got super sick with bronchitis for like three weeks. This would have been week four, but on top of that, I actually strained my vocal cords and I could not figure out for the life of me. I'm going to all these doctors. I'm trying to figure out like what is going on. And then finally, that was the diagnosis. So now I'm just waiting for the final referral. We all know how long those take to actually start this voice therapy. Because as somebody who literally talks for a living, I need to take care of the muscles that I'm using every day. Never did I think of that after podcasting for five years. So lesson learned. Um, I was on my stories yesterday and that was the first time I had storied in like a really long time on Instagram. And I became a little bit hoarse again. And so I have these really cool cough drops that my doctor actually suggested because he sings in a band. And they're called um, Vocal Zone. They're not the best in the flavor, I'm not going to lie. And I like really weird stuff. Um, They're very medicine-like and super strong, but they do do the trick. So I just had one. So hopefully it's not as bad. But the plan was yesterday, which was Monday, to have my new episode ready for you guys. I've been promoting it. I was super excited to finally record a solo show. I was batching so much content, whether it be filming videos for TikTok or shows for this podcast with my guests. I was also recording my audiobook at the same time. So that just like did a number on my vocal cords apparently, but I was so excited to record a show. Yesterday, where I was working, was so loud and you could hear the wind, and it was absolutely insane. So, I'm in Vegas right now, and there's this crazy dust storm. It literally looks like a whiteout, it's the craziest thing ever. And I actually just looked at the temperature, and it's like 40 degrees now. So, this is the life of being in the desert. It's like 94 one day, and then like literally a tundra the next, and you can't see. And planes were actually taking off, which is great. Like, pretty crazy but the wind was getting picked up on my mic and it just like didn't sound good so here we are (laughs) I'm like and then I started losing my voice again because I was talking too much yesterday and I'm like oh my god I can't win but here I am so um you know I'm trusting the processes and timing of literally everything right now because there's so much happening in my business and my life that I wanted to share because I haven't recorded a solo show in so long. And first of all, thanks for coming back and tuning in. And if you have yet to leave a review for the Kellyanne Cares podcast, stay till the very end because I have some exciting news on that. But what I did want to share is that 
you know, I'm doing a lot of things differently with the show this year that I just felt that, you know, needed to be done. I've been doing this since 2017. I develop other podcasts for a living. So when I'm not doing my own show, I'm either writing for my clients or producing their shows or designing their websites or consulting. And, you know, I do a lot. But when I'm not doing that, I'm working on, you know, elevating the experience for my own show. So I've actually been pitching my show to a lot of networks and um, I've been pitching my show and services to a lot of networks and getting the word no repeatedly over and over and over again when you're already not feeling good just puts you in like a wretched state of mind and I'm really good at flipping the script. So I've been meditating more, doing more sound baths, just literally taking it slow because I never do that. And this is just like a wake up call that I really need to start taking care of something that I wasn't for years, like, because I'm always talking, right? You never think of these things until something happens, you know? (laughs) It's so crazy because I'm always, you know, meal prepping and eating healthy and healing my body, like mind, body, soul, but I didn't take care of the most important thing that I needed, which is my voice for the show and everything else that I do. So it was kind of like a rough time the last two months, not going to lie, because I'm trying to, you know, elevate everything that I'm doing right now, personally and professionally. And I can't while I'm down, not feeling well, but then also like I'm trying to be at a hundred percent, but then it's like, I'm pitching, 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 and I'm getting no, no, no. So it's literally exhausting. And then, like I just said, I had to like flip the script in my mind. So that's what I did. So I took a break, but you have to realize like the things that we have right now, it's insane with technology. I, it was so crazy because I'm like, okay, so I started this show because I thought I was going to be blind and paralyzed and would only have my voice to make money. Now I don't have my voice. (laughs) I'm like, I did a lot of writing. I was like, I have so much more going on. You know, I have all these videos I can edit. And, you know, on TikTok, when you put the text, you can have it speak. So instead of doing my voiceovers, I was doing that. Like, that's amazing. Like modern technology. So I was taking advantage of all of those things. And then honestly, just like telling myself if these no's keep happening, like it's just not meant to be. The timing isn't right. And so that's, you know, always been my mindset. Like everything happens for a reason. And if it's the right time, it's definitely going to work out. And then as for personally, I have been living in the same place for like almost two and a half years. And before that, I was completely lost. I was in the like middle of my legal cases, the pandemic happened, I got slammed, I wrote my book, like I'm a completely different person than I was when I moved into this place. So where I'm living now, um, I literally became a different person. I like healed my body, I healed my mind, I grew so much as a woman, like as an individual, but like also as a business owner and as a friend and just overall human. It's insane. And I've learned so much about myself and just the world and everything else as we all did. But it's just crazy because that time is up. So our lease is up June 1st and my plan is to move like May 20th. So, um, I have no idea where I'm going. (laughs) I can't make up my mind. I know what I want everything to look like in my new place. Um, I designed a Pinterest board and did all the things and I'm super excited about that and to shop and to like design and DIY and like have a little garden and like do all these things. I have no idea where this place will physically be. And I was looking everywhere where I am now, which is in North Carolina. I almost just said North Carolina. Oh my God. (laughs) North County in San Diego. And I love that area. But then all of a sudden one day I woke up and I was like, wait, Am I, was I in San Diego again to just like get me through this healing chapter of my life? Like, do I need to be in like Nashville? Do I need to be in Hawaii? Do I need to be like, where do I go next? And I can go anywhere I want with my business. That's the best part. And so I started looking at other cities because the plan was to be in San Diego 
um, in June in my new place and then go back and forth to New York. That's always been the plan. So, and that's still like of the plan, but like right now I need to find the place in San Diego or wherever else it's going to be. And so many people tell me like, or wonder like, am I back in Vegas? I just come to Vegas a lot, but I definitely could not see myself ever living here. Not even part time, although right now it feels like I am. <laughs> but there's just no way. I need my feet in the sand and in the ocean within a few minutes. Like that is part of my life. It always has been. And especially like this healing journey aspect of my life. So I have no idea where I'm going. I was looking again last night. You know, I have different areas that I really like, but I just can't. And it's now like, okay, Kelly, like we're literally a month away. Like you got to figure shit out. So I don't know, like something about me is just like really calm about it. Like I'm going to find a place. Um, if that feels right, you know, I was looking at these like million dollar homes and I'm like, I, this is where I want to be <laughs> like the exact area, but then I don't like the home. I don't know. So it's all going to work out. So that's why I wanted to record this episode like so badly too, because I know I'm not the only one going through things like this where somebody's constantly telling me no. And I'm really good at flipping the script. Like I mentioned earlier when I, I get the no's, but also, um, it is hard. And it's also hard when you're already be down and you're sick for weeks and weeks and weeks. I had every freaking test, flu test, pneumonia test, COVID test, like all the tests and everything was negative, negative, negative. And that was frustrating. And I haven't been that sick for years. And so my PTSD started kicking in where I felt like I was like, quote unquote, really sick again. And so that was like a really hard thing to not think about all the time when like I wasn't feeling well and then having all this work on my plate that I'm doing where I can't speak and everybody's coming back and saying no and it was really frustrating so that's why I took like a little break and you know I even contemplated like should I just get offline should I stay on social media I'm like you know what like all this shit has happened in my life to help other people I'm like why am I going to do that like why because I'm feeling sorry for myself like I, no, I need to continuously power through so that I can help more people. I don't really talk about all the no's that I've been getting in business. I usually have been talking about it with the legal cases or like on the patient advocacy side. But when it comes to business, like you never know who's looking at your stuff and you never know who's working for someone leaves, goes to the one place that you've been dying to work with. You just never know. Those things happen all the time. And with the moving aspect, like I have certain things that I want, like I'm dying to have like a little garden so I can do all my fresh herbs because we all know how I feel about those and just like start growing things. And I mean, it can literally be a box at this point. Like I know how to do all that from TikTok, thank God. But like, I don't need like a whole backyard that's just like too much for me right now, but just like a little garden, little garden box. And then I want to be, you know, close to the ocean and I need to have it nice and quiet so I can like build my studio and not have issues like I had yesterday. Although I'm traveling, that's different. But like, you know, somebody that had a a studio (laughs) and used to like no noises and the only noise is like hummingbirds outside. That's pretty good. It's very decent. So I'm just trying to figure out like the area and the place and I'm such a minimalist so I don't need like a large place nor do I want it because then I'm going to have to invest in a lot of things that honestly I don't need so that's the 411 on what's been happening personally and professionally and like how I really had to just like have a conversation with myself like I usually do and like just trust the process like everything is happening for a reason, but like in the right timing. And I know you don't want to hear that because it's super frustrating when it is actually happening, but it's going to work out. And I've been dealing with like a lot of other things with work and I'm like, Oh my God, like, why isn't this working? You know, like technical difficulties. And I'm like, Kelly, just walk away. So take this as a sign that if these things have been happening to you, whether it's in your personal life or with your own business, like it's going to work out. 
you're going to have those frustrating days. Just journal it out, go for a walk and just know it's going to work out. And that's that. So I did want to share a couple other things with you just because I'm obsessed with them. And I have been using a ton of apps to save me money, time, money, and energy in my business and in my personal life, as I always say. And I found new ones. Listen, I'm all about saving money right now because I'm moving into a big place and have to invest a lot of money on furniture and like all these things. So bigger, I I should say rather, because I just said I don't want a big place, but you know what I mean? So I love my Fetch Rewards app. I've been talking about it for years and I finally just cashed out like a ton of my points and I got, I think, 30, 40 and $50 to Amazon and great. I've been saving those points for like well over a year, but with the Fetch Rewards app, you literally just take a picture of your receipt and you upload it and it also works for Amazon and then it tallies your points and then what can you do with those points? You use them to give yourself gift cards. You can donate them to a charity. There's so many things. So I just got mine for Amazon because there was a bunch of books and things that I wanted from there, but it's so amazing. Something else that saves me a ton of money, which I was talking to my friend last night and I'm like, oh my God, now I have to pay for this new Wi-Fi plan. So I hope like I'm getting a better deal. I've been using YouTube TV for my cable and my streaming for... I feel like a year and a half, maybe even more now. I pay $65 a month and I get all of my favorite channels, including Bravo and Allmark, which are my one and two. And I get to watch all my shows live and there's five DVRs. So if I decided to share my YouTube TV with five of my friends, we only pay 10 bucks a month for cable. That's insane because I have so many friends right now paying like two, $300 for cable and Wi-Fi which is also insane. So I'm trying to find a really good Wi-Fi plan, just Wi-Fi, so that I can keep my YouTube TV and the cost low. So if you can get out of your cable contract, which I know that's the problem with a lot of these businesses, is that they bundle everything up to lock you in. And I'm not about that life. I hate contracts. So I'm on a mission to find the Wi-Fi. But the YouTube TV, I pay 65 but if you want to use my code, you get 10 bucks off. So it's $55 a month for full cable. I mean, you get all the sports channels. You can watch everything live. It's insane. So if you want to check it out, I will have all these um, links for all my favorite products and apps I'm sharing with you right now in the show notes. So just make sure you click those links because one they will get you the deal. And then two, I'm an affiliate. So that's another way for you to support this episode. So also, um, get upside is a new app that I found for my gas, but I realize it's also for more. So when you use my code for the app, you'll get 40 cents off. I believe the first time you fill up. And then after that, I think it's 15 cents a gallon. That's what, um, I received. And so you save money on your gas. You go in the app and it literally shows you a map of the closest gas stations and the savings that you're going to have for each one. So you can choose like, do I want to go to Valero? Do I want to go to Circle K? Do I want to go to Shell? Like it'll show the difference in pricing and then you can choose. And so you save on your gas and you just link your card, but then you can also use it at stores and restaurants like all around your neighborhood or wherever you are and you get cash back like there's nothing better than cash back I love cash back I have so many apps that give me cash back on the first of every month and I'm obsessed so I just wanted to share a few of those products and apps with you because I love them and I've been using them forever and this new one the get up side app is so cool only because gas prices are ridiculous. We all know that at this moment in our lives. And so if you can save when you pump, but then also get cash back, like it's a win-win. So now as far as listening to more shows, scrolling back to hear the episodes with my guests, I have about another month or two that's already been recorded with guests that I can't wait to start sharing. So if there are specific shows that you loved, if you loved this solo episode, I would love for you to take just two seconds out of your busy day and leave me a review over on Apple Podcasts and let me know, like, do you want to hear from different type of guests? Um, Do you want to hear a different style of the show? 
Do you want to hear specific content? I haven't been speaking about patient advocacy a lot lately. My Some of my guests have been, but I haven't been... Um, I've been doing a lot more business and holistic healing. So if you want to hear more on patient advocacy, let me know. Just head on over to Apple Podcasts and rate, review, subscribe. When you subscribe, you automatically get notified when the first episodes go live. You'll be the first to know. But I wanted to do a giveaway. So if you leave a review over on Apple Podcasts, leave your Instagram handle so that I know who you are. Is screenshot and tag me. That's the only way I'm going to know who you are. And on Friday, I'm going to do a giveaway for some incredible super coffee cases. So if you are unfamiliar, I've been talking about super coffee for like two years now because it's organic and it's good for you coffee. It's actually healthy. It has the vitamins in it, vitamin B, vitamin D. It has antioxidants. It's sweetened with monk fruit. The creamers have protein. Some of the products are plant-based. They even sell pods. Like I said, the creamers, um, I buy the fresh grounds and the espressos and the plant-based cans. Those are my favorite. And I really want you to try it. If you want to try it right now on your own, you can use my code SuperKelly. It's S-U-P-E-R-K-E-L-L-Y. Everything will be in the show notes for you. That code will give you $10 off, which will get you the trial for free. There's three coffee products and you just pay shipping. But That code will also give you $10 off all products on their website. So if you end up loving it and you're like, I still want to hook up, hello, use my code. It gives you 10 bucks off. But also, if you leave a review this week, the giveaway will be on Friday on my Instagram. When you leave a review, you will be entered into the giveaway. And I may just give away one extra case. So head on over to Apple Podcasts, leave a review for the Kellyanne Cares show, and then screenshot, leave your Instagram handle just so I know who you are, so I know who to contact, so I can send you all your goodies from Super Coffee and maybe a few other things, maybe a signed book. I have a few things up my sleeve, but that's all that I wanted to share with you guys today. You know, in the meantime, I will also, actually one last thing, I have been promoting 20% off all month in April on the Everything is Messy Collection website. So all my products, my programs, my services, everything is 20% off. I've been developing a lot of shows lately, working on all different aspects of podcasting. So if you've been dying to launch a podcast, if you just want to learn how to monetize or need marketing help, maybe you need a coaching session, maybe you don't even have a show and you need a way to expand your brand. A lot of clients of mine did this throughout the pandemic. Or maybe you just want to share your life to help others. That's how I started. Or lastly, like rebrand or learn how to repurpose your podcast episodes. What I have put together is something that people asked me for. This is the only reason why this exists. It's called Your Podcast Production. It's a complete done-for-you service that aligns you and your brand to have a successful, enjoyable, profitable audio experience. There's nothing like it because I created it. And the only reason why I created it is because it needed to exist. Because when I launched my show, a lot of other business coaches online were asking me like how the hell I just did that. So I put it, I put a program together. That's how everything started. And that's what I'm still doing. Pretty crazy, right? So if you've ever wanted to do something, now is the time. Take that as a sign. <laughs> but if you're interested in having me develop your show or you just need like a one-on-one coaching session, your podcast production is the service that you're going to want. But if you want more of like a DIY experience, I also have a podcast school, but then I also do the one-on-one coaching. So it really depends on where you are in your podcasting journey, but everything is 20% off. Like who doesn't love a good sale? So you can head to yourpodcastproduction.com to get all the details on that. But if you head to everythingismessy.com, you'll see everything is 20%. And well, actually, you know what? I didn't even put that on the site. So I'm only doing it for podcast listeners and my social media. Um, It's not on the site. It's E-I-M-C, which stands for Everything is Messy Collection 20. That's the code. But I will put that in the notes for you. And I'm actually going to add it to the site to make everybody's life easier. I'll do that today for you. So everything is 20% off. Make sure you go check out all the apps that I mentioned today because they are so good and they will save you money and give you cash back at the same time. I love it. And that's my little life and business update for you. It's been a minute. 
And if you're interested in just learning how a podcast works or a rebrand, I actually have filmed this entire process of when I rebranded Kellyanne Cares on my TikTok. However, a lot of people are like afraid of TikTok for some reason or just don't want another app. It's totally fine because I'm the queen of repurposing and all of those videos are actually on my Instagram reels now. I have a lot of content on my Instagram reels that I don't share on my feed. So just go to Kellyanne Gorman Official, click the reels tab and you'll see there's a ton of videos there. I'm repurposing them there as we speak. So if you're not on TikTok, no worries. You can see how I rebranded this entire show over a weekend on my Instagram reels. And as always, thank you so much for listening. It truly means the world to me. There's a lot going on still that I haven't shared that I will be very soon. And I just wanted to like give you a little update. And it's so crazy that this topic was what I was going to talk about. And then yesterday, I still couldn't even freaking record for you. (laughs) I was like... Oh my God, only me. Like, this is my life. So I just wanted to share a piece of it with you and also my voice. Like, sorry, it's coming back. It's slowly coming back. But um, I'm excited to see what voice therapy does. It's kind of interesting. Um, I'm learning a lot of new things these days. Let's just say that. But um, thanks again for listening. Make sure you leave your review on Apple Podcasts because I really want to give away some coffee. It's probably one of my favorite things to do. And um maybe send books and some of the things because it's moving time. So I don't want to, I'm trying to get rid of like a lot of product that I have and a lot of things that I've been sitting on for other giveaways. So you never know what I have up my sleeve. And if you have any questions or want to connect with me through um, my website, you can just go to kellyannegorman.com. If you're not on social media, um, I would love to take a social, social media hiatus sometime soon, but then I'm like, no, I miss it. So like, there's always those days too. So if you're somebody like me and you're going through things like that, like it's totally okay. Just unplug sometimes. Did you just hear that? That was my stomach. Oh my God. (laughs) This is reality people. Anyway. So, um, thanks for listening to episode 315. And if you have any other questions about anything, this episode, podcasting, everything is messy collection just go to my website, send me a message or find me online at Kellyanne Gorman official. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you again soon. Thanks so much for tuning in to Kellyanne Cares, a one of a kind show created to motivate, stimulate, educate, and inspire you. And I hope that happened for you today. As I mentioned in the intro, I would love your feedback on today's episode. Head to Apple Podcasts, YouTube, or your favorite podcast app to leave a review for the show. I would truly appreciate it. For more information on myself, the show, my book, and the programs, products, and services I've created, visit KellyanneGorman.com. While you're there, be sure to sign up for my weekly newsletter, join the podcast community, and check out the brands I'm currently loving. Let's continue today's conversation. You can connect with me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Kellyanne Gorman Official. All my other social handles will be available for you in the show notes. If you have a product, brand, story, or service you would like to share on the show, send me a message on KellyanneGorman.com today. As always, thanks for listening, sharing, and reviewing. I wouldn't be here without you, and I'm so grateful I get to do what I love each and every day. Wishing you a happy, healthy, positive, and productive day, and I'll talk to you again soon.